naturally, as things are moving, as things are blurring through the frame as they move, it's more difficult to rotor those in the Machado that we're doing. Friends, this changes the way we work forever. Now remember, if you're used to doing rotoscoping, you can still use your traditional methods. We are not eliminating the art of rotoscoping. Not at all. Okay? You can use traditional masking techniques over top of this. This is just a way to get you there that much faster. For someone who's never done rotoscoping before, it allows you to attempt to do this. I've never rotoscoped before. I can almost kind of do this. If you've done rotoscoping, it can get you there that much faster. Jobs that would have taken days can take a single day. Things that would have taken hours can be whittled down to a single hour. And now, of course, now that we've isolated this foreground image, we can now mess this back into another composition, which I've done here. And what you'll see is if I want to say, add some blue wash background, we now have our isolated foreground image. We're currently in third resolution. Let's go back up to the full. There you go. Smooth it out there. And very quickly, recomposite the rotoscope image into a new background. Cool. Amazing. Let's share some love. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello, my friends. That was a very enthusiastic hello. Thank you. Hello. My name is Jason Levine, and I am a worldwide product evangelist for Adobe, healing people daily with the power of the 64-bit Mercury playback engine. And that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today. Premiere Pro, Mercury, 64-bit, and some of the incredible new things that we've done in CS5 and production training. So, uh, effectively, as you know, or may know, or have heard, that 64-bit is now the big thing in CS5, right? The Premiere Pro is now a 64-bit application. What that means to you, of course, is that we can now leverage all the RAM in your system for playback and rendering. We can also leverage all the cores in your system for playback and rendering. And we also now have some nice integration with NVIDIA GPU acceleration to allow you to offline effects process to GPU so that you can get even faster, even better, even more fluid playback and rendering with all of our native tapeless formats. And something that I want to point out even before we get started is that remember that Premiere Pro, the F5, is the number one native tapeless application out there. Period! APC Intro, 50 and 100 megabits. Canon 5D, 70, DPX, DVD Pro HD, R3D, ABC Cam, XD Cam HD 50, all native. No transfer. Do you hear what I'm saying? Let me hear it for native. Yes! So I'm going to show you all of those formats. You're going to see them playing back. And you're going to see for the first 15 minutes or so, lots of playback. Because I realize I'm up here shouting at you. But what I want you to take away is the fact that this is reality. 64-bit has changed the way we view this application forever. 64-bit has changed the way we will edit forever. 64-bit changes the way you think about working with mixed media, right? One of the benefits of Premiere is that you can mix. MXF files, and R3D files, and the and and and, <coughs> and the HDV files, and SD media, and DSLR media, all in the same timeline. Premiere allows you to do it. Drop it in, play. It just plays. 